a very rare 33 RPM uh, vinyl record put out by the uh, university, I think. Uh, an interpretation of the poems of James Whitcomb Riley by George E. Davis, Professor Emeritus, uh, Purdue University, that's in Indiana, in America. If you can see the, uh, the other tracks there. Raggedy Man, I'm going to play you the Raggedy Man. There's the other tracks that are on the thing. It's uh, not a very long record. There's two of them, the, these records. I've uh, played a bit of the uh, the other one, but this one, the record has actually got the Raggedy Man on. So let's have a listen. Because uh, George uh, uh, E. Davis, he was a sort of leading authority on, on Whitcomb Riley. I think he actually had uh, known Whitcomb Riley when he was a young man. I think these recordings were made uh, in the 60s or 70s, I'm not quite sure, but... Uh, it looks like a sort of, uh, you know, 70s type issue, this, uh, this final record. When Mr. Riley wrote The Raggedy Man, Indiana was filled with small communities. As people moved to town to live, they frequently brought with them a cow, some chickens, a few hives of bees, and probably a couple of horses. There was work to be done by the hired man of whom Mr. Riley was especially fond and whom he specifically named the Raggedy Man, probably because of his tattered clothing. He is a favorite of Mr. Riley's and he makes mention of him in a number of his poems. To help with the work inside the house was a hired girl with whom the Raggedy Man frequently carried on an affair. This is the Raggedy Man. Oh, the Raggedy Man. He works for Paul. And he's the goodest man you ever saw. He comes to our house every day, waters the horses and feeds them hay, and then he opens a shed, and we all just laugh, and he leads out our little old wobbly calf. And if our hired girl says he can, he milks a cow for Elizabeth Ann. Ain't he awful good, raggedy man? Raggedy, raggedy, raggedy man. Oh, the raggedy man, he is so good. He spits the kindling and chops the wood, and then he spades in the garden, too, and does most things that boys can't do. He clumped clean up in our big tree and shook the apple down for me. And another one, too, for Elizabeth Ann. And another one, too, for the Raggedy Man. Ain't he an awful kind, Raggedy Man? Raggedy, Raggedy, Raggedy Man. And the Raggedy Man one time say he picked roast rambos from an orchard tree and ate them. He's all cooked and hot. And it's true, too, because a corn crib got all fire one time and all burned down on the smoot farm about four miles from town on the Smoot Farm. And the hired man that lived there then was the Raggedy Man. Ain't he that beat this Raggedy Man? Raggedy, Raggedy, Raggedy Man. Oh, the Raggedy Man, he's so good and kind. He'll be our horsey and haw and mind everything we make him do and won't run off. Unless you want him to. I dragged him once clean down our lane and he got scared in the midst of rain and just reared up and squealed and run putting eye away. And it's all in fun. Then he got scared again at an old tin can. Whoa, you old runaway raggedy man. Raggedy, raggedy, raggedy man. The raggedy man, he knows most rhymes and tells them if I be good sometimes. Knows about giants and griffins and owls. And the squidgicum squeeze that swallows their cells. And down by the pump in our pasture lot, he showed me a hole that the wonks has got. That lives way deep in the ground. And can turn into me, or Elizabeth Ann, or Ma, or Pa, or the raggedy man. Ain't he a funny old raggedy man? Raggedy, raggedy, raggedy man. And once when the raggedy man come late and pigs this route to the garden gate, he tend like the pigs as bears, and said, old bear shooter will shoot em dead, and race and chase em, and they'd just run, and he'd pint his old hoe at em like it's a gun, and go bang, bang, and tend like he stand load up his gun again, raggedy man, 
He's an old bear shooting raggedy man, raggedy, raggedy, raggedy man. And sometimes raggedy man lets on we're little prince children. An old king's going to get more gold and left us there. And robbers is as thick everywhere. And then if we all won't cry for sure, the raggedy man, he'll come and spoil the castle halls and steal the gold and steal us too and grab and hold and carry us off to his old cave. And the hay miles, the cave of the raggedy man, raggedy, raggedy, raggedy man. The raggedy man one time, when he's making a little bow and eye for me, said, when you get big like your pa is, are you going to keep a fine store like his and be a rich merchant and wear fine clothes, or what are you going to be, goodness knows? Then he laughed at Elizabeth Ann, and I said, I'm going to be a raggedy man. I'm just going to be a nice raggedy man, raggedy, raggedy, raggedy man.